Hello everyone, how are you? This is Trident. Uh, today I want to share with you the unboxing of Watch Dogs 2 figurines, Ubisoft uh, UV Collectibles figurines for Marcus and Wrench, uh, which I just received today from Amazon United States. I did see that the Marcus figure does come uh, in Amazon Europe as part of the San Francisco edition, but here in the United States, uh, actually these come and are sold separately. I did see that as well in Europe. And I wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, I do like collecting figurines as well as collecting statues and steel books and art books. But let's uh, take a look at these guys. They look very nice and cool. Uh, this is actually the Marcus figurine in the box. I'll give you a 360 view. Uh, the box itself says, oh my God, is that sick? Uh, here on the side, it just shows the different images of the figurine itself uh, and mo mostly a close up. It does look very detailed for sure. On the back, uh, it shows the figurine itself, which is 24 centimeters. It's made of PVC. And then on the side, it just shows the image of Marcus holding his uh, famous cell phone. Uh, this game will be coming out in a couple weeks here in the United States, uh, and very soon in Europe as well. And, you know, it's very nice to have received this uh, ahead of time. So let's take this uh, guy out of the box. Uh, inside the box itself does include uh, a carton uh, of the San Francisco Bay Area uh, image inside. Let me just take that out of the box so you guys can see it because you couldn't see it before. So when you take that out of the box, this is actually what it is. It is an image of the San Francisco area. You can see the bridge and you can see a drone here uh, flying high. I'll take that out of the way uh, if you can uh, see the figurine itself. So now the figurine, uh, this is how it looks. Again, it's 24 centimeters. Uh, let me unwrap it. Uh, it does bring some wires in the back uh, holding it. That way it doesn't move too much during shipping. So let me open this up for you here as quickly as possible. So once you take actually out of the packaging, this is how the figurine looks. Again, it's, it's 14 centimeters uh, tall, uh, 24 centimeters, I'm sorry, tall. Uh, you can see Marcus actually holding his cell phone in front of him. It's actually very detailed. This is definitely a very detailed figurine. Uh, you can see he's wearing uh, different badges and if you actually touch him, you know, pin badges, you can feel them that they're there. Uh, he's wearing you know, his famous glasses, his uh, dead sec cap as well. Look at the details, guys. This definitely is very detailed. You can see the, even the shoelaces uh, on the figurine itself. And then on the bottom, you can see the dead sec uh, logo. On the back, he is wearing a, a, a backpack uh, with more pins. And then everything else, you know, inside. It definitely is, you know, very detailed, guys. It's very well made. Uh, just to try to do some close-ups where you can see the different uh, parts of the figurine itself. On the back, his jeans does have some uh, different images and you can see again his shoes and shoelaces. On the bottom itself, it does say uh, Watch Dogs 2, uh, UB Collectibles. Uh, definitely very nice guys, I, I like it. You know, I, I like collecting figurines and statues. I think this is very well made. So now let's open up uh, Wrench here. Uh, which is his buddy. Uh, both of these actually attach uh, together, so I'll be seeing how those actually attach after. So let me open wrench here and uh, show you uh, the details on it. Um, actually, I forgot to show you the 360 view of wrench's box. So this is actually the front of the box. Uh, this is the other side. It shows a nice image of wrench. Here is the back, you know, all different languages explaining the figurine itself. It does bring two different masks. If you notice, they do have different images on the mask itself. And then right now he's wearing them with the X, you know, on his eyes. And then here is the side view. Uh, it shows, again, it shows a close-up of the figurine itself. And then it shows how both of them go uh, together and attach to make it a, a, a much a, a bigger figurine. Once you actually take it out of the box, this is how it looks. Uh, you have wrench there. Uh, you know, pointing uh, through his fingers at, at himself, at his head. Uh, definitely, a, you can see he's a, per, a, a great personality guy. I look forward to seeing him and playing, you know, the game itself in a couple weeks and trying 
uh, this game. I thought Watch Dogs 1 was, was, was good, you know, and it's time. I didn't have too much complaints on it. I know a lot of people thought it was it should have been much better. Uh, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm very happy just to play games in general. I'm not very picky. Uh, so I was okay with the game itself. And I look forward to playing Watch Dogs 2. Now, once you take him out of his packaging, this is actually how it looks. I'll give you a quick close-up. So if you can see, it's very detailed. You can see his leather jacket um, and every single one of the points of his jacket. You can definitely touch him and you can feel it. And you can also see you know, different tattoos that he has in his arms uh, there as well. And just doing some close-up. Definitely is very detailed, guys. You can see his jeans, ripped jeans, uh, his shoes. Uh, here's the bottom of the statue itself. Watch Dogs 2, you'll be collectibles. Here is the back. Uh, you know, very, very, very detailed figurine, guys. It's definitely well made. Um, I definitely recommend it for those collectors out there if you have the money. You know, these cost about $55 each in Amazon United States, so you, it costs about $110 a pair. So now this is both figurines, guys. I showed you all of them, both of them together. So then you actually attach them like this, just like uh, I showed you. you actually, they actually mate on the bottom here. And it makes, you know, kind of like attaches them together here. But then once you put them together, that's how they look. One beside the other. Um, you got Wrench and Marcus again. Overall, I think that's very nice, guys. Very good looking for those collectors out there. And then one important thing, too, is Wrench itself does have two different masks here. Uh, like I showed before, that you can take him out and simply replace the mask that he has on right now and put those there. So please let me know what do you guys think. I hope you like my videos. Please don't forget to leave a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please take a look at my other videos. I look forward to continue sharing them. Again, I am a private collector. These are all mine. You know, I save up money to play, uh, to play games, sell them, and then just, you know, stay with the collectibles. That's, that's my hobby. Thank you, everyone. Game on.